How are we doing, folks? Back it. Somebody's got to do it. So, eh, uh, just out the kind of local woods tonight. It's going to be a, I'm going to have you that later night. That was just going to be a porous shortly. So I've got the swag again tonight. Uh, I'm just going to fire that up. Get a wee fire going later on. Eh, uh, well, I think there'll be a bit of cooking. We just have to wait and see. But, night's yet young. Eh, uh, I've already kind of gathered a wee bit of firewood, etc. So I'll chop some of that up later on. But right now I'm going to get the swag up eh, before it gets dark. And then we'll go on with the video. Stay tuned. That's the swag set up. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to prep a wee bit of firewood for later on. It's definitely getting colder. we a good frost this morning, so it's going to be cold tonight. But I'll not be cold. Because what have I got? I've got the ex army sleeping bag tonight. Arctic bag. Brilliant. Weighs an absolute ton, but fantastic bag. They're not going far. Eh. Uh, but, what was I, what was I going to say? Firewood. Let's get some firewood prep. So I've got the, my new trusty Hulk of Fours axe. As well as that. I've got a trusty old scrammer. So, I'm alright for chopping wood. Oh, that's a good axe. I can't tell why. It's just straight through those bits of wood. Right folks, that's that firewood, good pile of firewood prepped up. So the lights more or less start to fade just now, so I'll probably wait till it's dark before I get the fire going. But that's me set up for the night. So cooking still to come. Probably a couple of wee bottles of cider, as you do. Uh, but that's me, I'm prepped for the night. So probably the next thing I'll probably start doing I'll either crack open a cider or I'll start cooking, one of the two. And when I say cooking, it's not quite cooking tonight, as you'll see. I've got a couple of you, I've got something to try out. So, we'll see what that's like. Stay tuned. It's all went dark, said Rhubarb. Boo! <laughs> right, darkness is fallen. So, I think we'll get a fire going, eh? Get a fire going. And you know what time it is. What time is it? It's cider time. So, you know me, I do like this Henry Westons. So we've got the cloudy numbers tonight. Lovely stuff. Let's crack one open. Leave no trace. Stick that in the pocket. Know how it is. Anyway. Cheers folks, just another one. Look like a mountain man tonight, don't I? That's a great that's a great hat. That's a, this is we call these the Bugsy hats. So I've seen Bugsy maybe while. He'll hopefully be back out. Eh, I don't know, once that's locked down stuff away. But hopefully get caught up with Bugsy and Stuart and we like to call ourselves the Three Amigos. I catch up with a few other folk as well. Derek, then some ranger. Hopefully we'll get a camp with him in a couple of weeks' time. I think we're supposed to go into a wee a secret location. So from what I from what I hear it's well, I know roughly where it is, but it's a wee hike into it. 
I don't know, maybe about say quarters of an hour hike to get to where it is, but that'll be another trip. But right now, we're out in the woods. So, firewood's prepped, cider's open, eh, I think it's time, let's get a fire on. What do you think? Comment below. Right, cheap as usual. Eh, we got a lot of folk with flint and steel fire lighters. I <laughs> think the best thing you can bring is a lighter. <laughs> lighter and a couple of fire lighters. Huh? Why make it hard for yourself? I must have a. Uh, I reckon I've got, I don't know, about four of these kind of striker things. And I've not used it. I've not lit a fire with any of them yet. I just like to get a fire on as quick as possible, which is exactly what we're going to do tonight. So, I prepped most of this, this wood earlier, just chopped it all up. Got a couple of kindlers and that to start it off. this kind of wood that I prepped earlier to keep it going. So, fire on. Ah, that's better. Oh, you can't be a wee fire to sit at, can you? MZ loves doing this. No, it's just, it's the best thing ever. There's just nothing beats a nice toasty fire. Right, it's Friday night, so by the time I post this, I don't know when I'll post this, maybe Monday night, I don't know, whenever I post this, I'll probably done a live video, so that'll be on the Saturday night, so how that went, who knows, it's only Friday, and I'll be posting this on Monday, but the last one went pretty well, I think everybody had a good laugh, there was over a hundred folk tuned in, so, Keeps going quite well. I'll probably make that a regular occurrence. Well, or depending. If I get a reception, depending on where I am. But there's a. Uh, whether or not. I'm trying to think tomorrow night. Probably. Say, well, this one's good. Saturday night, 8 o'clock. That's usually a good time to go on. That's usually when everybody's bored of dancing and ice. And, uh, Celebrity get me out of here and all these kind of things. Yeah, when you, if I watch that, we should watch prime time doing like this. But the Henry Wesson's, oh, it's been down a treat. First bottle just a bit away, so I'll go on to the next one shortly. And the cooking's still to come. So, I bet you're asking yourself, what's he cooking tonight? What's cooking in Carl's kitchen tonight? Well, this is a total lazy man cook tonight. I wouldn't even say it was cooking. <laughs> right, but you'll see it. You'll see it shortly. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna give my opinion and some of this thing that I'm having tonight. I'll give my my opinion on it. I've kind of tried some of these things before. And some of them are actually quite nice. Some of them are not the best. I'm hoping uh, there's another company that I've gone very well with uh, and I'm hoping they're going to send me a, kind of a few of these things. Uh, they have sent me stuff before, I've done a few uh, kind of wee videos, just probably part of some of the videos I've done. Uh, but they're handy, cheaper kind of longer hikes and things like that. If you want to go more lightweight. You're probably kind of guessing what it is that I'm going to have tonight. On top of that, oh, as well as that, we've got a cheeky wee pudding tonight. Oh, and this is, I'll be honest, this is one of my favourite puddings. Comment below, what's your favourite pudding? Because what I'm having tonight, I 
stand by a lie. It's probably, in fact, I'll be honest, it's probably my favourite pudding. Would have been nice with a bit of custard, but I'm not getting any custard with me tonight. So I'm just going to have it itself. But, uh, lovely, I'm looking forward to that. As well as the other thing I've got. But as you can see, the fire's going a treat. An absolute treat. So, as ever, get yourselves out there. Now you get a lot of folks saying, oh, you've inspired me to get out. I love to hear that. It really is a good thing. I always say it's good for the soul. Good for the soul. Especially in these current times, isn't it? It's just good to get out. You need to get out and get a bit of fresh air. Instead of being stuck in the house watching mundane telly. Oh, I'm just loving this. See, just sitting, sitting at the front of this fire. Just fantastic. Fan dabby dozy. That time again. <laughs> so, crack open, crack open a wee cider. Ah, well, another wee cider. I don't know what temperature it is, but it's, it's definitely colder tonight. Yeah. I'm not cold just now because I'm sitting at the fire, but it's definitely, when you're away from the fire, aye, it's cold. I was laughing there, there was my wee kind of chat on, I think it was just on Facebook, folk asking, is, is there anybody still out camping in winter? Oh, aye. I was saying, why would you not be? I personally, I, I think, eh, uh, I think winter's the best time to camp. Because you, it's a lot quieter, you don't get anybody else round about. It's just, there's just something about it, and even better if there's snow, fingers crossed. I just hope, I just hope these restrictions get lifted and I can get up to Glencoe or somewhere like that, somewhere where there's lots of snow this year. But we'll have to wait and see. But I reckon we'll be alright. I reckon, I reckon we'll, I reckon we'll get a. We're, we're bound to squeeze a couple of snow camps in. If it's no end of this year, maybe start of next year. Fingers crossed. But we'll, we will have to wait and see. But oh, I really do. I really. I, I'm, I'm just. I just something about snow camping. I just love a snow camp. It's just, it's just a, it is, it's the pinnacle, the pinnacle, the pinnacle of camping, snow camping. But as you say, don't do this at home. <laughs> if you're going to go and do it, obviously make sure you've got the right gear to go and do it. I don't want pure beginners going out and ending up getting hypothermia and a 20 pound, 20 pound sleeping bag out of Asda and Aye, that, that's, that's no good. Right, I'm going to cut it out this year. A new sleeping bag. Normally I'd take that winter bag, but that new Leviathan 900 UEX. It's a good warm bag, so I'll probably take that. Especially if I want to go a wee bit lighter weight. Maybe do a couple of summer camps. Fingers crossed. I quite fancy doing that this year in the snow. A couple of summer camps. But, whether that'll happen just have to wait and see. Whereas for just now, because of this lockdown, carry on in level four, I'm just basically in the backwoods tonight. Even though probably I'm wild camping in my title, it's not quite wild tonight. It's just kind of local woods. But, needs must. At least I've got the, at least I've got the luxury that I've got woods at the back door. Whereas there's some folk doing. Oh, a wee shout out to, to Kev. 
Happy birthday, Kev. Hope you had a good one. Uh, that'll be tomorrow night. Might even be the night as well. He invited me to that, but the location where it is, I just can't go because it's out with my kind of council area. But that would have been a good night. I would have liked to have went to other. I honestly would have liked to have went to that. But, hey ho, these things happen. So, Kev, get back out again. Jim, Jim as well. My big mate G, uh, it, was, uh, it was in my couple of videos, I don't know, last week. So he's just bought a formula tent as well. He's bought a formula tent and a, I think it's an outbacker stove I think he's got. So it's a, it's a kind of square version, I can't mind the name of it. So I think his stove's arrived uh, and his tent's coming on Tuesday. So he'll be looking forward to that. I bet he'll be at his back door. He'll be back at, uh, I'll arrive, I'll be at his, he'll be, I bet he's at his back door that night. Uh, with the, with the tent up the stove on. I know I would be. But oh, what a heat. What a heat off of that. Fantastic. You can't beat it. But I reckon uh, what we'll do we'll maybe do we'll get some deep shortly, I think. Oh, yes. Did say earlier. It's not fancy night. Right, you'll see, you will see it. You'll see it if you stay tuned. You'll see what I've got tonight. Both things I've got, no cooking it for scratch or anything. Right, it's just, I want to try this out. I've got, I've got a, well, one I'm trying tonight, I've got a, I've got three of them. So I thought, oh, why not? I'll just try one tonight. It's three of the same meal. But, I'm kind of stocking up. I'm stocking up these kind of, the thing that I'm having tonight, I'm stocking up on them, so come winter, I'm saying come winter, they're in winter, but when I do a couple of summer camps, these are handy, so I'm going to try this thing tonight, see what it tastes like, and then hopefully, that, like I say, that other company that I'm hoping, I'm hoping they're going to send me stuff, she's, she's, she's going to get back to, to me on Monday, so cheers, all I'll say is, Cheers Mary, you're an absolute star. Right, quarter past eleven, so it's time for a bit of food. So what have I got? I know you've all been waiting for this. You shout out to James. James sent me this via I don't know, can I cover from a gas can? I'm not even cooking in the fire tonight. Total lazy night tonight, right? So, that's just to keep your gas can warm so that it actually works when you're out. Right, so we shout out to James. Cheers, James. I'll use that other thing you've sent me yet. I've, I've still to, I'm still to use that, right? Cooking wise, I'm going to use the Alt Kit Brew Kit. What's cooking? Well, I'm saying cooking. Right, I've got a Wayfarer's... Oh, better turn it the right way. A Wayfarer's spicy sausage pasta. So, we're going to give this a bash. See what it tastes like. Like I say, I've got three of them. So, we test her tonight, see what it tastes like. But for dessert... <laughs> oh, yes. Got a sticky toffee pudding. Oh yeah. But what we'll do right now is get the stove set up, get the spicy sausage pasta on, and then we'll get the sticky toffee pudding for dessert. Oh yes. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. It's quite a, it's about quarter past eleven, so usual late night dinner. You know how it is. Yeah. Any time I'm camping, I end up, yeah, I end up eating at midnight and things like that. So, I think by the time I put the, the stove together, cook up the pasta, we're about half eleven, and we get us about twelve. Still got a 
and a couple of ciders to go but time for some spicy sausage pasta oh yeah so I've probably already mentioned but alt kit brew kit can't tell a lie great great wee stove right some folk rave about the jet boil but it's probably twice the price right whereas I'll be honest this does the exact same thing well my eyes it does not that I've got a jet boil right everybody raves about jet boils but I can't tell you these are these really are great right I'm just going to take that out of that so obviously get the wee holder for the gas can fits both sizes just clips on the bottom top section just screws on easy as right obviously get the, the section here but I've not got the frying pan tonight so I don't really need that so we'll just stick that back in the bag right and the joys of these stoves are just great you need to basically just pour water into them and all you need to do is stick the the wafers meal inside it and it just heats it up Right, and then obviously do make sure that you you tear them open. Right, you don't want anything exploding in your face. Right, so it's just either side. You just tear it, and then it's just a case of lighting up the stove, heating the water up, sticking it in, boom, just like that. <laughs> Right, so, let's see, tear it open, stuck it in. So, these are ideal, see if you want to go out to uh, summit camps, you're going a long hike. I know I normally cook a lot of food, but tonight, let's see, pure lazy one, stick that in, heat it up, and that should be good to go in about 10 minutes. Oh, yes. I've said 10 minutes, I don't know, whatever long it takes to heat it up. But I must admit, I'm actually starving, so I'm looking forward to this. So, we'll give it marks out in 10 once it's ready. Oh, lovely. Right, just about ready. So, we're going to dig into this. Like I say, get marks out of 10. Let's see what it tastes like. It says you're supposed to kind of mix it around about, so I'm going to have a mix on the way. I think that's good to go. So, let's, let's try it out and see what it tastes like. I'm going to take that out. And what we'll do is, I'm just going to stick this talky, sticky toffee pudding in that hot water. And while I scoff that's that, uh, that lovely, uh, you need to comment below, what's that sauce? Butterscotch sauce. Will hopefully melt in about that but but uh sticky toffee pudding aye that was that that'll just so that'll just be perfect so by the time I scoff this that'll be just ready good to go basically I'll switch the gas off because I reckon by the time you eat this that'll just be just right it's taste test time so this is the wayfarers spicy sausage pasta Not too shabby. I say it's no, it's not been cooked by scratch. I've just set a bag, but well, that's quite nice. Mm.
Right, all right, we'll give that a... Well, that's a good 8 out of 10, I'd say. These ones are obviously a bit heavier than the freeze dried ones, but we've got some of them coming as well. Uh, but skipper, but these. I don't want to carry much. These kind of meals are ideal. Absolutely ideal. Roast and hot as well. Just what you need in a nice cold night. Whereas when I do my, uh, well, I do my, my camping Saturday night, the live feed. I'll probably do a wee video as well and I'll, I'll cook from scratch but can't tell a lie I'd recommend this one quite nice Right All gone. Had to lie, that was actually, that really was, that was quite nice. I'd recommend that. You know. I'm going to put a, uh, I've started a kind of wee new thing. I'll put uh, links to all the kind of stuff that I use. I've also started a wee Amazon kind of shop thing, so I'll put that link below as well. I'll we'll stick it in the description. So all the kind of stuff that I use, all the all these kind of meals that I know I don't do eat these meals that often, but I put links to all them as well. Well, that, well I put links to the ones I like. Right. The only one I, I, that I've tried that I didn't like was the was it the scrambled egg and cheese or something. I can't remember if it was Wayfair or whoever made it. Oof. Got rubber, so that's one I'd avoid. But spicy sausage pasta, very nice indeed. Whereas, next up, I think it's time for some sticky toffee pudding. So, You can buy using these types of meals. Right, but these are just maybe like Tesco's or something. Same thing. A lot cheaper. One I would re highly recommend though is uh, is it Expedition Foods? Uh, apple. Custard and apple crunch, I think it's called. Oh, that's lovely. It is, it's almost like having custard and well, apple crumble. That's that, and it does it taste, that's exactly what it tastes like. But for tonight, spicy sausage pasta and uh, sticky toffee pudding. Well, I don't know, last bit of one. Lovely. Fantastic. That's a uh, spicy sausage pasta finished. 
that's uh, sticky toffee pudding finished. So, I'm going to finish off the last bit of cider. Just give a couple of, couple of wee specks of name there. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to dive into the swag. And yes, folks, you know what time it is. It's brew time. Brew time. And no, no chocolate digestive tonight. But I do have, well, we just have to wait and see. Right, we're in. Oh, brilliant. Right, it's time for a brew. Let's get a brew and... No, it's not chocolate biscuits. Let's just see what it is. Right, brew time. What have we got? We've got a wee cheeky four packet of boost. So we're going to crack these open. I'll manage all four of them. Who knows? But it's time for a brew. Oh, brew time. Fantastic. So, another good wee night. these boosts they get smaller all the time don't they or these chocolate bars they're not tiny now aren't they I was actually laughing earlier on eh, my older one she eh, she bought a Snickers and you know at this day I still call it a marathon I don't know about anybody else but I always remember them being called marathons I'm like that have you eaten all that marathon? What are you talking about? I said, you eating that? Can it's one of the double bars? I don't know. That's a Snickers. That's a Snickers, Dad. Aye, aye, you're right. That's when you know you're showing your age, isn't it? You start calling chocolate bars like, like they were called like 20 years ago. But anyway, time for a boost. <laughs> Right, boost in a brew. Well, maybe a couple of boosts in a brew. <sighs> right, in the bag. So it's good night for me. It's good night for him. Catch you in the morning. <sighs> right, morning time. Let's see what kind of day it is outside. Superb, dry, it's cold, but the sun's out. Just what the doctor ordered. So it's definitely a chillier, but it's a beautiful day. Suns are shining, blue skies. So I'm going to get back out the day, going to do a bit of cooking somewhere. You're up the hill, down the beach, who knows. But I'm going to call, this a, call it a day yeah, with this video, because I'm just going to take the, the swag down But as ever, if you like the video, give it a wee thumbs up Hit subscribe Hit the bell for future notifications And we'll see you in the next one Adios amigos